And we are back now with those new details about Sherry Papini's abduction. Her husband, Keith, spoke exclusively to ABC's Matt Gutman about everything she went through from the moment she was kidnapped to her release on Thanksgiving. And Matt is back with more on that powerful interview. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. Keith Papini told me that Sherry may be free, but she's still haunted by the abduction. Sometimes the dark or a door slamming or other sounds can trigger the trauma. And investigators have been trying to tap into those dark memories, hoping they'll yield even one clue that could break this case open. This morning, we're learning more about how missing mom Sherry Papini was abducted. I can tell you that there was, you know, guns involved. I that, mean, it that's seems like if someone I'm, has a gun, you're going to do what they say. Yeah, and I would say it's, it's more than that as well. She didn't get into a vehicle on her own or even told to, I guess you could say. Keith Papini speaking from an undisclosed location, telling ABC News exclusively that during the entire ordeal, his wife only saw two female captors. Yep. Investigators say the mother of two was tortured and starved for 22 days. Was she fed at all? Barely, but yes. When I hugged her, that was the other thing, is her spine was just sticking out. I mean, I feel like I was having like a like a large clock, the gears on it. I mean, it was very protruding in that. She lost almost 15% of her body weight oh, yeah. in 22 days. She literally lived through hell. And uh, the thing she told me, <laughs> the thing she told me that she did Talking to me each night and uh, <laughs> acting like she was tucking in her kids. And, and just as mysteriously as she disappeared, she reappeared three weeks later. Finally, Keith had news he wanted to tell his kids. I said, you know, you know what, buddy? I found mom. And he, <laughs> he got the biggest grin. Um, and he started like, you know, like, where is she? <laughs> and uh, he just sprinted 100 miles an hour. I was like, go slow, go slow. And um, he hugged her and um, my wife, obviously very emotional and started crying. And she said, I'm so happy. And my son, of course, is like, you don't cry when you're happy. And, and uh, my wife said, when you're this happy, you cry. <laughs> As hundreds welcomed her back to Redding, California over the weekend, Keith tells us Sherry's spending every possible moment with her kids while he remains vigilant. So who did this? Investigators tell us because they have so few clues, no one has officially been eliminated as a suspect. But what they do have are those shackles and hood Sherry was found in by the side of the road. Investigators tell us they are doing the forensics on the chains, hoping they yield DNA or fingerprints or any clues. George. And friends of the family now doing their own investigation as well. But Matt, what do we know about what Sherry Papini is doing right now, where she is? She's at an undisclosed location. We don't know where that is. She is trying to stay private. They want to avoid the limelight. They want to avoid the media. And they also want to be in this undisclosed location for their own protection. Uh, now, Keith told me going back to the house is so traumatic they may never move back into that house again. Oh, wow. George. Okay, back Still up. Still a lot of people much. talking about this. A lot of questions. Mm. Okay.